All right, got some cleaning up to do in the garage, but first, gotta stop by Starbucks. Hello, good morning. Can I get you started with any food items? Um, no, actually, yesterday I uh, came through the drive thru, I reloaded my card, and they forgot to charge me, so I'm just gonna um, just pay for that. Um, do you know around what time you came in? For? It was about like 8, 9, or 10. In the morning? Yeah, so I ordered a venti iced green tea latte and a double bacon sandwich and the total is like 1070 i think does it does it sound right well they don't want to take the money they said don't worry about it free sample of free product they said your money is no good here yay yay i gotta go ahead and recycle this hopefully get at least 40 bucks out of this all right, just gonna run some errands real quick. Recycle some recyclables. Here we go, Mike's recycling. Damn, just a little short of 60 bucks. Oh well, better than nothing. Just got a text saying the rims have tires now. Looking good, we are set. They did save the boxes for me. Just want to shout out to Angel, Jeremy, and Josh from Discount Tire Chula Vista. I also want to send out a shout out to Kyle from Discount Tire in Kearney Mesa. He's the one who actually helped me uh, decide which tires to get. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy these tires. All right, we're down the street from Rhea's school. I totally forgot I had these tires here. So I had her sit in the front. Don't worry, we just went down the street. Gonna do some rearranging. I'm gonna have her sit in the back. All right, baby girl, you can hop in the back now, but here's the situation. The, the seat's gonna be straight up. You okay with that? The hatch closes and everything. Good to go. What you think about the new wheels and tires I got for the Integ? Oh, well, I want them back. <laughs> she said, cool, but I want the seat back. Hey, no talking with your mouth full, girl. Of course, baby girl had to have her infamous mac and cheese from Brigantine. I didn't hear the magic word, girl. You're welcome. Damn, mac and cheese and fries. Back at the pad once again. It's gonna back up the uh, RAV4 and unload the wheels. Time to look at the new toy. It's my toy right here. Toyo Proxies from Japan. Treadwear 100. Traction AA, temperature A. So yeah, these are the tires I went with, the Toyo Proxies R888R. These things are gonna have crazy grip. It's not like the car has crazy horsepower, but it was no fun doing a track day and the car was sliding all over the place. The battery's on. Let's see if the car turns on and starts. But this sticker needs to be replaced. So we'll get a new one. Right, our bell? All right. Ah, oh, damn. We got their stuff right there. Get this out the way. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it turns on. Nice. Let's see if it starts. Haven't started this thing in over a year. Fuel line's probably dry. Booyah! We have ignition. All right, Louis is here. He's a little early. So I'm gonna have to move the car outside. So he could do his thing, detail the car, and we'll get these wheels on there. So there's a little bit of rust, like on the edges right here where the sunroof is. Oh yeah, like right here. See that? Like it's a little, little yeah. dot. Louie will handle it. Don't even trip thing be looking like 1993 all over again.
All right, without further ado, finally gonna slap the wheels on. These are the lug nuts of my choice. Skunk 2, Forge Lug Nut Set, Black Series. Now to start the unboxing of the Skunk 2 lug nuts. I don't have a tripod at the moment. Use my hands. Booyah, Skunk 2 owner's kit. Certified Skunk 2. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Skunk 2 sticker. Do I have a Skunk 2 sticker yet? I thought I did. I don't see it. I thought I did. Because I have some other Skunk 2 products. Ooh. Ooh. Now I need bigger lug um, studs. What's up? Oh, my bad. It's backwards. There, right there. Booyah. Wow, they're nicely packaged. They have their own little foam thing. Almost looks like a Rolex or something. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know about that. Oh man, we got a problem. If I put this lug nut on and I tighten it, it's gonna scratch the paint. Oh man, I don't know if I could put these wheels on there. All right, and it begins. Started loosening up the tires. Gonna put the car in jack stands. I'm just gonna do back and then front two at a time not going to record this running out of memory so that's what we got going on here all right one of the wheels are off and i totally forgot i had some k2 and coilovers damn they look nice too bad they're dirty right now i'm gonna have to clean that up one day i should clean this up but i'm too lazy I'll do that another day as well. All right, slap the wheels on. At least one of them anyway. Dang, after a couple decades of not having wheels, rolling on some hubcaps, finally got wheels. Man, it almost feels like having a pair of J's and you don't really want to bring them out because you don't want to get them dirty. All right, here we go. Putting the lug nuts in. Man, I feel like a kid in a candy store right now. Like. A kid on Christmas. It's been a minute. I would normally I would normally zap it. But nah man, we're gonna we're gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it by hand and torque it down. I'm gonna send this to the homies. I'm like, ooh, look at that gap. Just kidding. Alright. That's what it looks like with the car still in the air. I'm gonna do the other side and then lower it. All right, this is it, it's coming down. It's a little bit on the wide side, but let's see what happens when it's completely down. Damn, look at that gap. I'm gonna have to address that. There we go, that's a little better, but that's because the front's jacked up. <laughs> All right, let's go. The homie Jerry is here. He's uh, he's due for spark plug replacements on his twenty on his wife's twenty sixteen ILX for spark plugs. Iridium. Let's go. Got to cool down the car first. All right, these plugs are slightly different from the normal plugs. All right, I'm gonna have to find a socket for it. No worries. I need to use a 14 millimeter socket. Now the car is cool, just gotta take the brake cover off. So, so how to edit it was also okay. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if you usually get sick, so I don't know. Like, yeah. we'll tell you, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's just bad right now, man. That's why it's, sometimes it's kind of scary to try to go out, but. I man, get it. We all have to live, but then yeah, still at the same time. You can just get bro. Yeah, dude. I mean, I do it. I still do it, but you know, it's in the back of your head. Yeah, right now it's crazy over there. It's not safe to go to the PI. So I think you were supposed to go like last year too. Really? Because my mom was like technically retired. Damn, that's awesome. That so she's been wanting to go back, but like. Yeah, I'm so, bro. Yeah. Is it safe? That is the question. 14 millimeter. All right, the 
see how this spark plug right here, see how it's all dark and crustated over here? That's how you know your spark plug hasn't been changed and then the electrode's a little bit worn. So yeah, a little, a little gapage over there. So if you look at this porcelain, see how it's nice and clean? So pretty much what you're seeing there is the compression trying to go through the spark plug through time. Man, I haven't talked to Cyrus in a while. I texted him one time and I was telling him about the the video. <laughs> but that was, I haven't spoke to him since I did the blower transistor and blower motor on his Evo. Yeah, I just texted him. That was the last time. Yeah, I don't really hardly see him. I talked to his brother too. I guess, yeah, I think they did have a car meet. Um, so we're trying to bring up bring back Saga Saga back in the game so yeah maybe we'll be going to a, a picnic this summer new ones next to the old ones so the old ones were using NGK but with the new ones it's they replaced it with Denso but they're both iridium plugs so we gotta put the spark plugs in the spark plug tubes and the cylinder head but we just can't drop it because that'll ruin the gapage the gap so we either have to take a piece of paper or slowly put it down my hand, use this magnet, but if I use a magnet, how am I gonna let the magnet let go? Yep. I forgot how I did this with my nephew's car. I think I had to do something similar. I'm tripping, almost forgot. I had the claw. The claw. We used the claw. <laughs> the claw. No, I think he was just gonna get a hood scoop. Yeah. For his type R. Yeah, it's tough, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Yeah, that's why I don't hit it. That's why we're a team, you know? That's why I have our bell doing it. That's all I'm doing. I can't be making recording and then the editing, but yeah, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta be committed to it. Stay busy with like consistent, but yeah, so Yeah, that's tough sometimes. Let's reverse. What you did, good to go. Put on this beauty cover. Not much. Should be about 20 bucks, plus or minus. That's my guess, but. Oh, these ones aren't too, too bad, but um, I'm talking about the, the spark plug tube ball rings. Oh. So, um, I think they're bolted on if I remember right. They're just not, you don't just slap it on. Cause here's the thing, if you do plan on keeping it and the valve cover is already gonna be off, you might as well adjust the valves too, since the valve cover is coming off and you're at that mileage. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're already in there anyway. Your valve cover is already off. Good to go, spark plugs, 2016 Acura ILX. All right, go ahead and start it up. Oh yeah, good to go. Yeah, they did a couple things. So I think when they did that, a couple things, they cleared the code. Okay. Because the code, what is it for spark plugs? Six, four, three, four? Either four, five, or six is what I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, I wanted both, but shoot. You could buy four sets of these or three sets more. I, I, I wanted to get originally the black chrome, but the problem is, yeah, they don't have that in 15. So I had to shoot, so I picked the man black. So the homie Jerry is here, dropped off his car, did spark plugs on it, but um, he's gonna help me try to do a rolling video so we can see the wheels in action and no more having junk on top of the Integra from here on out.
right, that sums it up for this video on the RPF1s. Uh, thanks to Jerry for helping with the rolling shots. All right, see y'all in the next one. Peace. Anyway, hope you guys had a good one. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.